Uh, deck dive is like one of the most important things to know while when you're surfing because you have a shorter board and there's bigger waves. It's important to know when to go under the water, how to push the board under the water. So I'll walk you through this technique. When the wave is approaching, you see the wave and you see it's either breaking right in front of you or the whitewash is coming towards you. So <clears throat> about three to five feet before the wave, you can start pushing your board under. Depending on how big the wave is, um, if it's too big, you kind of want to start doing the duck dive a little bit earlier, maybe seven feet, so you can push the board under as deep as you can. It's important to hold your board in position by the nose, not too far up, not too far down. You grab the board from each side, you grab it by the rail, and depending if your board is too wide and it's hard to push it down under straight down, you can tilt the board a little bit and then push it down under. That makes it a little bit easier for boards that have a little bit more thickness. You grab the nose, you push it as deep as you can, and then you step on it with your knee and the back pad or with your foot. Um, bigger the wave, deeper you have to push the board under to make sure that the wave doesn't grab you back and doesn't flip you around a bunch. So, you know, sometimes you can be paddling along the wave and almost wanting to catch it, but last minute you decide that you don't want to. So, last minute you decide that you want to duck under to make sure that the wave doesn't take you over the handlebars. It's a cool way to. Uh, not get completely just annihilated in the ocean um so good luck let me know how uh, how it went if you tried and uh yeah thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe i like making these videos for you so show some love thank you